In my last video talking about Packmaster and the supposed doggo, a lot of you guys started talking about the Greek pantheon happening after the Asgard divide event was over. Some of you guys were saying like, oh, it would be really cool if they incorporated the Greeks next. And it would also be cool if Cerberus was included as the doggo to pair with Packmaster Shayek, right? It would be a cool champion to have within raid. So I, you know, I asked you guys on on Reddit, I asked you guys here on a on a post to just have this imagination discussion. This isn't real or anything, but I thought it'd be fun to see what you guys would come up with. And you guys came out with a lot of great stuff. Now, before diving into this, somebody did mention that the Orc Unity Faction Champion is going to be announced soon. So, you know, hold your breath. And yeah, it's better to just wait. But, you know, uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what people are saying here. So, Alien Dude 999 says it only makes sense that all of his skills be triple hits. That's true. Three heads, right? There's an Orc Unity Faction coming. Oh, that, that was actually me saying that. Uh, I said there's an Orc Unity Faction Champ coming. But what if they did the Greek Pantheon next, including Cerberus? That would be awesome. Wouldn't it? The Pantheon League, including Greek, Indian, and other mythical gods. That would be cool. Honestly, I don't think Polarium was ever planning on doing a release for a dog for Shayek. They could have included Fenrir in the Asgard theme. A big miss. Yeah, they could have. After seeing all the hype in the aftermath, how hard would it be to turn around and make one, though? To make a dog Lego for Shayek. Or, others, as others have pointed, add Brachus to the list. Would Brachus fit? I think Brachus is more like a werewolf, no? I told him I don't think it's too hard, but I don't know because I'm not a dev. I'm pretty sure it's planned. They did not release a legendary Packmaster to work only with a shitty rare dog. Yeah. Even if it is planned, I, I think they should have updated us or, or something because it's been a while. But again... Some of you guys are going to say, hey, it's too early to come to complain about this. And I'm just like, I think if people want to complain about it, people complain about it. I'm not the only one here asking about it on in-game chat or on YouTube or in the comments or in Reddit, right? So I'm not the only one, basically. A1. This one was a really cool one. Kunikitsu. A1. Cry of the Underworld. Attacks one enemy with a 50% chance of placing a fear debuff, then attacks the enemy with the highest turn meter with a 75% chance of placing decreased speed debuff, finally attacks the enemy with the lowest HP and heal reduction debuff. If all three attacks hit the same enemy, places increased attack on this champion for two turns. That's an insane, way overpowered A1, but it's cool. Temporal breakdown on the A2. AoE three times. A three times AoE hitter. It's giving horse vibes. The first hit reduces the duration of all buffs on all enemies for two turns. The second places Hex for two turns. The third, True Fear. But what about Hydra? I guess True Fear is not going to do anything. I'm pretty sure something else will happen. Maybe decreased speed or something. Oh, wait, no, there's decreased speed on the A1. Something else, maybe. Passive effect. The champion reflects all fear and True Fear debuffs. So you can't put fear or True Fear on Cerberus. That's cool. Hades' favorite. Attacks one enemy three times. You see the three head, three time attack theme here? And I like the, the names here. Each hit ignores defense by 30% and an additional 10% for each debuff on the target up to 50. Enemies killed by this champion cannot be revived. Or enemies killed by this specific move can't be revived. That's awesome. Passive. Allies cannot inflict weak hits on enemies under hex debuffs and gain a 3% damage increase on them per each debuff placed by this champion is there hp burns anywhere around here i feel like hp burns would have gone well here but it's over oversaturated i think active effect whenever an enemy is revived activates his hades favorite ability on that enemy dear god so if you try to revive somebody he's gonna attack three times again really hard and then place the block revive on you again that's funny this might be overpowered but hey trunda exists true the idea is always a three-time hitter, playing with the ability to keep people in the underworld, not letting them come back. Exactly. Fitting in the theme with Cerberus, right? That's his whole sh um, shtick. Really good. I really like this one. Very, very well organized, put together, creative. 
Definitely mythical. Normally he would have one. His transfer. Oh, because I asked, should Cerberus in this imaginary awesome scenario, should Cerberus be a mythical or a legendary champion? He says, definitely mythical. Normally he would have one. His transformation would be the three heads. Definitely something ridiculous like triple attack per head in his mythical form. Imagine using him in Fire Knight. Yeah. Since he is the keeper of the underworld. True. He should have turn meter or life steal or life exchange capabilities. Then like Hydra, he should devour. And when struck, de imagine if he devoured in arena, you just devour champions. That would be, that would be overpowered. And when struck down, he would throw up the champion. Yeah, that would be sick. He should have a self res in his mythical form for three turns. Imagine Hydra and Arena. The only way to mitigate him being overpowered is to make sure the cooldowns, uh, make sure the cooldowns turns are, are higher. I love HP burn, but so many champions have it. So maybe skip it. Aren't you glad I don't work for Polarium? That's sick. It's an amazing imaginative kit. Still couldn't fuck with my level 60 Deathhound. That's funny. It's been so long, I forgot there was supposed to be another dog champion for Shyak. Exactly. You know, again, I'm not the only one. Uh, the community. This is the community sentiment. I speak when you guys speak. It's been so long. There's no update. People are forgetting that there was supposed to be a dog for Shyak. It should be Trunda level damage. It's, it is unfair that only one champion can do what she does in Hydra. That's true. A3 rips your arms off and beats you with it. <laughs> and then eats your arm for a snack then feeds your own arm for a snack. I don't really know what uh, he meant there, but yeah. His most important skill is fleecing suckers of money. Second, fleecing suckers of time. Finally, the A3, turn meter increase, power creep, and FOMO. His FOMO cannot be resisted. They should have thrown Freya in the trash and cast Fenrir. Yeah. Hipster Trash Slut says, or just added Fenrir. Freya looks cool, even if she's not mind blowing. Yeah, I think she looks cool. I agree Freya isn't bad, but between her and Fenrir, in this imaginary scenario, Fenrir would have been a much better addition, even if he wasn't amazing. Master of Dogs is still without a pet, and that's annoying. Master of Dogs, Pack Master Shyak is still without a dog, and that's annoying. I still don't know why Basata and Vergamacher, oh sorry, Vergam Kar are not considered pets, even if they don't are if they're not great champions, it would be something to use. <laughs> Actives, rollover, A1, A2, beg, A3, fetch. Passive, being a good boy. Love that. On the community post on YouTube, I asked you guys the same question, and you guys also gave some good um, good input. Would be an OP legendary for sure. Let's imagine, right? This is just an imaginary scenario. Attacks one enemy, strips its buff, and places them on your strongest ally if they're attack buffs. Place them on your weakest ally if they're defensive buffs. Stuns all enemies for one turn. Grants an extra turn on a four turn cooldown. A3 revives all dead allies with 35% HP and unkillable. That's really cool for one turn. Passive, if you have any demons, demon spawn on your teams, they will attack Cerberus. So people like Lord Shazar, Prince Kaimar, Tyrant Ixelmor, and Duchess, and Countess Lix. This sounds fun. Alexander Payne 68 says, passive gatekeeper of the underworld. Uh, world. Whenever an enemy is revived, revived, place enfeeble on them for one turn. Active part of the passive. All block revive skills can't activate their effect the first time the skill kills an enemy. So somebody like Lydia would have to wait to have her turn her cooldown. Um, like, but that's gonna be like 18 turns already. Um, A3 beast of a thousand forms places HP burn for two turns on all enemies. Allies who attack enemies under HP burn placed by this champion can't trigger any effect. All effects will be directed to this champion. For example, sheep will sheep him. Any form of counterattack will counterattack him. Reflect damage will reflect on him. Four turn cooldown. It's a bit strong. A2, son of Achin Achidna. Attacks all enemies. Poison cloud buff on all allies if the enemy is under HP burn placed by this champion. A1, Hound of Hades, attacks one enemy three times if the target's under HP burn. Each attack has a 15% chance of extending all debuffs on the target by one turn. Probably avoid Lego. You guys are, you know, coming out strong with this. I love the creativity. I love the imagination you guys are all um, sharing. It, it's awesome, honestly. I like the mythology brought into the abilities. Yeah, exactly. Definitely something to stop opponents from reviving. Perhaps a passive 
increase damage against hell-like factions. So like the hell spawn or the hell, hell whatever they're called, or demon spawn or the hell, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Anybody with a hell theme in it. Great mythology incorporation here. Thanks, dude. Tried to stick to the role, appearance for mythology as I could. Be a nice touch to incorporate into his passive. Polarium, if you're watching this, it's likely that you're not, but if you're watching this, you know, bring, bring a dog in. Bring a dog. Where's your dogs at? We have Hydra at home, champ. <laughs> HP, I actually don't even understand what this means, but I liked it just because, you know, I, I'm assuming it's a joke, but I don't get it. But, you know, I'm not going to be that guy who's like, I don't get it, but I don't get it. All right, Thugzilla, HP burn with instant activation, two turns on a three turn cooldown, passive, 50% chance to explode more with HP burns. He would be a mythical champion since the real Cerberus could shapeshift into a hellhound form. Yeah. HP burns. Can you feel it now, Polarium? The community wants it. Can you feel it now? I think if it's meant to go with Shyak, that they would have a different non-repeating skill, yet some synergy together. A1 attacks one enemy three times, 75% uh, chance to apply HP burn, attacks all enemies, AOE hex, A2, and then A3. Yeah. Tickle does RSL, says, yes, this dog must shoot fire lasers. Yeah, fire lasers would be cool. Just Chive6272 said he would be the next dungeon event boss, probably. Event boss or just like a next the next dungeon? A1, Massacre of the Living. AoE, True Damage, ignoring all defense on the A1. A2, Howl to the Forgotten. Apply increased defense, strengthen and shield to this champion for three turns. Inflicts fear on all enemies. True fear if the enemy has two debuffs, more than two debuffs for two turns. That's pretty cool. I like that. That howl. You know, you place fear, you scream, ow, and then you place the fear. A3, Growl of the Dead, inflicts Enfeeble. I like the Enfeeble. I like the Enfeeble that you guys are put, putting out. Reduced attack and weaken to all enemies for two turns and heals this champion by 1% of max HP for each debuff that's applied. The passive, Guardian of the Underworld, each time an enemy is killed, prevents them from being revived until he drops below his next bar of HP, 80, 60, 40, 20%. And upon receiving Fatal damage, unleashes his A1, the Massacre of the Living, healing for 20% of max HP to each enemy killed. Kind of like how Newt heals with his A3. Really cool. I really like how everybody is pretty much saying that this Guardian of the Underworld, you know, it fits the theme, blocking, revive, keeping them in, in the, keeping them in Hades. Like, that's really cool. He would be a fucking rare. That's what you get from Polarium. Hey, man. Okay. It would be comp, comp, comp like the Cookie Monster. There you go. He's got to be a mythical. A normal in his, a normal dog in his first form, teaming up with the Packmaster and any other dogs. Bit of support and protection, but auto converts to its second form if another dog dies. Then he's burning an all-out DPS. I think if it's a Guardian, the A1 steals buff. Attacks three times. A2 places Irresistible Provoke. I like the Provoke. Two turns also places active HP burns for three turns. Counterattack for one turn. A3 places Speed Buff, Crit Rate, Crit Damage. Two turns passive, active. Er, um, the passive would be active. Oh, the active passive would be every HP burn grants 15% more speed. And for other passive, for the other passive, the regular passive, have a 50% chance of stealing and changing for HP burns. Because these crocs need a quick blow. Oh, Back to the